clear whether they even truly exist or could be shown to in the physical universe. If they do, if one day physics finds a use for them, that's great. But if not, that's great too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, hello, hi. Um, hope everybody is doing well this morning. Um, somehow, no, go away, rude. I mean, you don't gotta be here, Fangy, if you don't wanna be. <laughs> um, I have been awake for so long, I feel like, already. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I just feel like I went to bed late again because I'm not a real adult. Um, but how's it going, Fangy? How's, are you at work, I'm assuming? Yes. Um, being, let me try to remember. Yeah, you've been awake. <laughs> yeah, I've been awake for so long. I woke up at six o'clock. <laughs> Good morning, you ingrates. Everybody's like in a mood this morning. Um, but hello, Dagan. How's it going? Oh my god. Uh, mm. I don't even know what to tell you. Um, oh my god. What, <laughs> what a day. It's already been such a morning. I'm trying to think of like what even, what even to say. <laughs> She's already frustrated with us. Maybe that'll be easier. I'm trying to think like of just like what to say. You know what I mean? Um, Für Deutsch, meine Lieblingsfarbe ist blau. Ich habe ein Ich schlafe ein bisschen diese Nacht. Maybe? Um. <laughs> Was that Deutsch or Simlish? Um, I'm currently fluent in Simlish, so it might have been. Slept, and you have only slept a little last night. Yes, okay, so it was at least understandable. I'm trying to think, like, what do I even say? Um, Watashi wa American American Jean Des. I don't know even what to say. I don't know enough words, I feel like. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. I feel like I don't know enough words. Uh my brain is like mixing Japanese and German. Cause I wanted to say like, I watched like the TV or like I watched a movie or something, but my brain like really <laughs> wanted to say like, Watashi wa um, Ega, I think is movie. And then, but then I wanted to say, like, I guess, 
Watashi wa terebi. Hmm. I don't remember what the to see. I guess that's. I feel like if you're gonna come in hot like that, that's what you get. <laughs> um. So today and tomorrow, I should have four days off in a row after working 13 in a row. Holy hot fucking damn. Um, well, fingers crossed. We're all praying for you. Thoughts and prayers. Because 13 days in a row is fucking whack, dude. Um... I feel like I was so like go, go, go mode this morning. And then I think I like slowed down for a second to like set up the stream and then realized I was really fucking tired. <laughs> um, but today should be finishing this shirt. So hopefully that goes well. I mean, not like my morning has been like bad, but I just am like, what the fuck dude because i woke up this morning i had like an order to pack and so i think that got me like amped up so i was like fuck i'm gonna go pack this order and then i started doing like i don't know i feel like my brain just went like full adhd mode and was like doing a little over here doing a little over there like whatever and then um i like had a fucking panic moment <laughs> um because our like so we have a bidet in our upstairs bathroom and it has like a little remote with it and I don't know what happened but the batteries inside of the bidet remote like exploded while I was in there and that scared the absolute fucking shit out of me <laughs> and then I was like panicking because I was like what the fuck was that noise um so then like I had that so I was like I feel like a lot of like adrenaline this morning and then I like it's like okay it's getting really close to nine. I should probably start setting up for the stream. And then I think that slowed me down. And now I'm here and realizing I'm a tired person. Also, it's fucking dark as shit outside. It's so cloudy. Um, manager's quarantine technically ends tomorrow. Ooh, that's good. She's past the contagious stage. Oh, yeah, I'd still wear a mask and stay the fuck away from your manager because that seems sketchy. Uh, <laughs> also, thank you guys <laughs> yet again. Okay, well, I just, I can't help it. Gotta get packed up today. Going to do shroomies with my boo and my bestie. Um, I've never done those, so I don't know... <laughs> Once more for the people in the bag. So, like, what kind of preparations are you doing? Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. Look, I'm keeping it up for you. Thank you, Fangy. You're a true hero. Um. But yeah. I am excited to get this top done. I think a little bit just because it's been weighing on my mind for so long I'm kind of glad to just like get it done and be done with it <laughs> make sure you aren't in a bad mood have lots of good music that seems like too much like what if you just like are in a bad mood like what do you do you just don't then I would imagine I get too stressed out too easy. I just couldn't even. Um, okay. Let's figure out. <laughs> then don't do them. Okay, that's fair. Oh my god, you know what I did not do? I did not sew that little piece closed. That's fine. That can be like a, a later, later thing. Or be prepared to confront your inner self. Well, I am never prepared to do that, so I will not. <laughs> I feel like that's just like too, that's just too much. What is going on? Okay. Should I have ironed this? Maybe, I don't know. I just like don't want to iron anything. 
guess we could get started, but how are you guys doing today? What's, uh, what's up? How's it going? What are you guys doing? I feel like Dead on Shroom should be recorded. I feel like I could almost guarantee he would not ever do psychedelics. I just don't think he's like into recreational drugs as a person. Um, but they're fun. You basically just laugh a lot like a crazy person. I don't know, man. Drugs freak me out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I am too much. Hunky, hello. Are you going to lurk immediately? Because that'll make me sad. Don't do it. I'm just saying the shit he would say on shrooms would be hilarious. I'm sure because the shit he says sober is fucking out of control. Um, also, oh my god, Joe Ann's back off my shit. 70% off? Nope. Out of here. Help straighten you out for a couple- <laughs> Okay, then I won't type lurk. Oh my god, hunky. Uh, just one day, just one day, can you hang out with us? Okay, um, what am I doing? Um, I feel like that's crazy. I did actually hear that there was like a study, obviously LSD and shrooms are not the same thing, uh, but that LSD could potentially help rewire people's brains who have um, severe mental illness, like PTSD and stuff, which, is interesting. Uh, <laughs> I don't type lurk, but it's implied. Okay, fine. Maybe one day you can hang out with us. That's why microdosing has become a thing. Oh. Use them to cure anxiety and depression. That's like fascinating to me. Um, I almost dropped a tab of ass and went through a car wash with a light show. Oh my god. I have not done any of those drugs so I don't know it gives me anxiety thinking about doing them so I think I just will not be just as a rule of thumb <laughs> now that is trippy I feel like for a lot of people that's like fun I don't know I don't know. I just don't know about that. I just have, I think I've heard too many horror stories in my life and like the potential um, physiological and psychological like side effects. I just like cannot do. <laughs> um, oh Lord, I am my grandmother. Cause you're dropped a tab of acid and went through a fucking car wash. I almost said a light show, but that's not right. <laughs> I mean, kind of right. Um, feel weird. I feel the most normal the week or so after. That's like just crazy to me. Horror stories are why I won't touch acid. I just... Um, I'm very interested in like the science of drugs like how it affects our brains um and like that kind of stuff like to me like that's fascinating um like so i'm interested like in that way like people's experiences and like what it does to us um but i just don't think that knowing that information i could do drugs <laughs> It just scares me too much. Cause like, I am like very sensitive to like medications, like the um, like physical, like the dosage, I guess is what I'm saying. Like I just can't take as much as most people, um, literally fucking anything. So I always have to have like the children's dosage, I feel like. And I'm just like, I don't, 
what if I fucking like did drugs and then fucking overdosed? Like I just can't. I just don't think I could ever. Um, plus I don't like man-made things. I guess that's fair. Um, she would always tell kids they had light-up shoes that she wanted a pair. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> like I am my grandmother. Um. Oh, early season reminder for people: change your car tires. Ugh, that's so expensive. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I do not enjoy living in a place that I have to change my fucking car tires. I'm sick of it. This place is too expensive to live in. <laughs> you may not want to until you're in a ditch wishing you did. Okay, well, I just won't drive. <laughs> it's just like, dude, fucking shit's expensive. I'm sick of fucking spending money on shit that I don't want to spend money on. <laughs> I'm sick of spending money on stupid shit like tires. Like, I don't want to. Um, give me the giggle bush in the god mushroom. Oh my god, the god mushroom? Is that what people are calling it? Because I don't know about all that. Um, or until you're that asshole in the Mustang doing donuts in a snowy parking lot, smashing into a light. Well, I am a very cautious driver. I'm like, I go as slow as humanly possible when it's like shitty weather. I do not probably go more than like 15 miles an hour on the highway. Um, a lot of people here get very upset with me, but go around if you're mad about it, you know? So that's my life. <laughs> um, okay, so I need to do the facing for, you have your hands 10 and 2 hunched over the steering wheel. <sighs> you know what? I don't need your fucking judgments, Bingy. I'm not here for you to judge my way of grandma driving. Um, but yeah, I do typically keep my hands at 10 and 2, and depending on how bad the weather is, I may or may not be hunched. <laughs> so, there is that. Um, I drive like an old lady. I also drive like an old lady. I just don't. Ironically, even though I like deliver like food for like that's what I do for money currently is fucking oh my gosh uh, ghosty bender hello welcome back um even though like I'm like driving and like delivering food I really do not like driving I hate it Can't stay for long, let him catch a few minutes. Well, I am glad you can too. Missed you. Sure, Demi sits on a stack of books over the steering wheel. Oh my god. I have a, I have an extremely small car. Like, my car, like the height of my car is probably like here to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know, like, it's not, like, I have a me-sized car. It's very small. I drive a Chevy Spark, if that, like, helps you. So I'm not, like, I can reach the pedals, and I can see over the steering wheel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pretty sure we're the same height, Demi. Yeah, I'm, like, almost 5'2". <laughs> spark it's like a little car for me I mean 
I really, really enjoyed the teeny tiny cars in Japan and I wanted a small car, so I got a Spark. Okay. Can you understand? I'm like five feet fucking tall, dude. Like, I cannot be driving a Ford F-150. Can that even fit in it? Um, not like well. No, he, every time he gets in my car, he adjusts the seat, I feel like. I feel like no matter, it's like he's getting bigger or something. Like, every time he gets in the car, he's like pulling the seat back and like, like moving the reclining it <laughs> fucking jesus tits um because it's just like too small he yeah he looks absurd when he drives it because he's like like too big for the car it's definitely a little teeny tiny people car for sure oh i guess the sun is coming out oh my god thank you hunky um i'm not tall and i drive a chevy silverado I mean, you could probably reach the pedals, though, right? Because <laughs> I can tell you right now, I don't think I could. Um, all these small cars, my husband bought a Jeep Cherokee when they got here. Oh my god. We had the cutest car when we got to Japan, we had a Pajero Mini. Oh my God, that was the best car I've ever had. I loved it, but it was just like old. And then I like, oh, ma ma I almost just said Mongo. Uh, Mango, <laughs> my class is at one so I can chill. Well, hello and welcome. Um, yeah, Pajero Mini, best thing ever. It was old and I like low-key kind of crashed it a little bit. And then I broke the muffler off because it was already kind of rusty now. And then um, there's like a lot of issues with it, with getting like JCI done. And so <laughs> um, we had to trash it, which makes me really sad. It was the best car I think I've ever had. Um, I need to, I think flip okay so I guess my question is do I scrunch this up and add the little thing here first and then do the facing no I should do the facing first and then do that I think uh, oh can't talk shit I'm 16 my favorite car is an old Mercedes from the 70s and burnt orange doubt I could fit in it yeah those were little little baby cars um no I just have an even shorter person sitting on the floorboard <laughs> control the pedals oh my god uh, okay yeah I get it actually that would be hilarious though like just the like it just reminds me of like three kids standing on each other's shoulders under a trench coat you know like that's the vibe that has and it's in for mercedes 450 sl is the make of my dream car i i think my i don't know it's like weird because I don't really have like a dream car per se because I just don't really like driving but I really if I had to pick one probably like a 69 Nova I think looks the best um okay so I guess we'll just start sewing on this end and then just work our way off of the spool here. Off topic, but we managed to get that earring off. Took some... <sighs> okay. I feel like... So I was sewing stuff last night. So I think I, like, missed out on, like, what the fuck, like, even happened? Like, what even happened, Ghosty? Like, because like, what I was imagining was, like your ear hole for because I don't know what happened so I was imagining your ear hole had stretched out and like a stud earring had got like stuck in your ear or something so I have like no idea like what 
I don't know. I'm just like really freaked out. And then you were talking about like cutting it out. And I'm like, oh my God, she's going to cut part of her fucking ear off. Ooh, okay. Let's do a poll. Uh, best Europe vacation spot. I've never been. So I'm actually interested. Can't wait. What the hell? Um, where's my poll thing here? Oh, fuck. I guess it's gone. Um, I don't know. Here, hold on. This will take me just like a little second, but. Um, freezing for a year. So hoop inside my ear it had little bumps on the openings. Okay take it out and let the bumps heal the the keloids because I don't I'm not a doctor but I don't know if those go away okay best European vacation spot you said France, UK, or Italy. Oh, redeemed. I'm gonna have to turn off the language speaking for the beginning of these streams because my brain's like, what? Um. France, UK, Italy, that's what you said I can read, don't worry. Okay, go. So to vote, you do like exclamation point vote and then the number, I think. Um, hoping it's hypertrophic scarring instead of keloids. Um, hopefully it is, because from my experience, kilo yeah, it's usually keloids. <laughs> um, pretty sure that's how that's supposed to go. Okay, yeah, the votes, when you do the exclamation vote and then the number, it's working. Um, okay, speaking German, um... Oh God. Um, mm. Oh, heute es ist kalt. Die Sonne nicht scheint. Und es ist. Mm. I don't know what else to say. There's really nothing happening <laughs> outside. Meine Leben. Oh no. What happened? Um. Oh geez. I feel like I need my brain to to be better in the mornings. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just lack of sleep. My brain just like can't remember any German at all. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we've got, if anyone else wants to vote. <laughs> Nothing in particular, just fucked. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel you, dog. No hablo Germano. Is it really Germano or did you just make that up? I don't speak any Spanish. Because that's Spanish, right? Like, no hablo. Correct, Amundo, my dog. Okay, I'm gonna... Just because no one else is voting. <laughs> I made that up. Great. <laughs> 
um, Alamein, something like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Boop. France. I've actually never been to Europe. Oh, thank you, Hunky. <laughs> Oh, time for bed. Have a great stream. Thank you, Ghosty. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you sleep well. Um, potty mouth. Okay, that's who I am as a person. It also is a lot worse, I think, when I'm a tired person. Because I can't, I just can't. You know what I mean? Um, and it's how you say German in French. And I think Spanish is similar. Okay, I was going to say Alamein seems very like very Frenchy, <laughs> um, but Spanish, Italian, French, like those languages are all Latin based. So it would make sense that they would be similar. Um, okay. Let's sew this here facing onto the top. So I need to do sew it down to the right side or the outside of the top. I think I might put a little extra length on it so I can trim it down. Do I do I guess I could do it like this so the feed dogs don't pull the fabric. Ugh. Um I'm watching you, hunky. Ghosty is omniscient. She's watching everybody. Um, okay, so let's just bring this on over. And then I need, oh shit. My, <laughs> oh no. My mic cord got like tangled over there, so like that's a whole thing. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can like hear me okay. Um, I currently do not have a fancy lav mic, so it's not attached to my body. Okay, I'm gonna load up my chat over here so I can like actually see it. Claw, hello! How's it going? Thanks for stopping by! I'm good, how are you? I'm trying to like <laughs> get my life together here, don't mind me. Um, bink. And then we want chat only, baby. Let's... Bonk and a bink. Cool, okay, so I can see my chat now. <laughs> um, but how are you in Claw? What is up? Right now I'm sewing the facing, this like ribbon facing um, <laughs> onto the top here. I think the feed dogs, I'm gonna do it with the ribbon side down because I think they're gonna like on the fabric and stretch it out. Aren't we all trying to get our lives together though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we sure are. I feel like I'm just always amazed. Like, I just remember being like a little kid and being like, wow, when I'm an adult, it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna, you know, be an adult. <laughs> Forever trying to get my life together. Honestly, same. <laughs> Just left yoga, going to clean now. Ugh, yoga sounds delightful. I feel like I need to do some form of exercise. I feel like my bones hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm like not even gonna... I'm just not even gonna pin this down. Oh my god, hello? My Fitbit's gotta be, <laughs> gotta be broken. It just like said I finished my 250 steps for the hour and I'm like, I have not been walking. 
can't wait to grow up. I'll have everything figured out. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. Like, I just remember being like a little kid and like having this like idea of what I would be like as an adult. I'm like, wow, I'm gonna have a career and I'm gonna be married with children. Like I genuinely thought that by now I'd have three kids. Like I 100% thought that would be a thing. And you know, I have two dogs instead. <laughs> <sighs> wow, I don't know. It's just always, like, interesting to me, like, how life just isn't, like, what you thought it was gonna be, you know? A lot of having children makes me want to die. <laughs> Dogs are very close. They are close enough to children. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, they're kind of like kids, so yeah. Um, dogs are better than children, even. They still talk back, but you can't understand them, so it doesn't count. I 100% agree with you. Because then it's like, it's just like cute, and they're making like cute dog noises. But, I mean, like, I do eventually, like, want children. <laughs> I think it's the complete opposite of what I thought it would be to dogs greater than kids. I mean, like, eventually, like, I do want kids, but it's just, like, I don't think in the cards right now. Okay, I think this might be a little bit tricky. Huskies actually talk back though, and they scream. Oh my god, Freya? She will straight up, like, we went on a walk the other day, and we didn't take them because it was like fucking 80 degrees out, and I hate taking them out when it's so hot. And we came back, and she's just like, literally banshee screaming. Like, doesn't even sound like a dog, like, at all. I think I posted it on my Instagram <laughs> story the other day when it happened. Cause I was just like, dude, uh, like why? Oh my gosh, is this gonna be right? Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Little hot dog <laughs> prince or princess. I mean, <laughs> probably will not let them eat as many hot dogs as I'm eating because that's just, well, I don't even eat hot, I have to, like, it's been so long since I've had a hot dog. Like, that just, like, isn't even right, you know what I mean? But I think I would like my children, my future children, to, like, eat better than what I eat, you know what I mean? Boone barks like he's a massive 200 pound dog. He's so loud. I mean, it's so he can tell you how much he loves you. <laughs> okay. Something seems weird, but I don't know what it is. I prefer brows. I mean, yeah. Um, hello? Okay, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Okay, hold on here a second. What is happening? Why is this getting caught? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Hold on a second here. This is like getting tangled, maybe? Okay, now let's try it. Um, 
my dog yodels at me when I eat anything. That's fucking ridiculous and I love it. Um, I love both broads and hot dogs. Yeah, I think like taste wise, like I would prefer to have a brat, but I also do like enjoy hot dogs with like the ketchup and the mustard. You know what I mean? I think that was maybe the problem. Okay, I have to say, sewing machines are the most temperamental. My favorite though, Polish sausage. I like doing like a Polish sausage, like skillet type meal. Chop it up with some like onions and garlic and like peppers and shit. I like that, that's pretty good. <laughs> um. Anybody had bratwurst and spaghetti? No, that sounds like lunacy. Polo sausage makes you sick? That's weird. I wonder if there's something in it that you're like allergic to or something. I mean, I don't know what specifically Polish sausage like has in it, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. Broth and spaghetti was my dad's specialty. It's fucking bomb. Huh. I have never heard of that I would have never like thought yes I'm going to put broths in my spaghetti polar sausage with sauerkraut and mustard oof that sounds good <laughs> I do really like sausagey type meats, I think, like the best. Oh my god, what a disaster. At least that'll be hidden up. Um, I don't know if you can like see super well, um, but it's like all fucking tangled up just because the thread up top was like getting wound around the little spindle. Like what the hell, dude? Um, I like sausage on pizza, kinda. <laughs> um, I actually am not really a fan of a lot of toppings on pizza. Like, I don't, I don't know, I just don't really like a lot on my pizza. I especially do not like vegetables or fruit on my fucking pizza sausages wine and cheese are peak humanity that is factual dude um i like that's my like dream like get together is like a bunch of different wines and cheeses and like meats and some like fucking olives and grapes and just like fucking shit you know what i mean That's just like how I want to live my life. Always and forever. <laughs> um, okay. We're looking good. Uh, my favorite pizza is white pizza with spinach, onions, feta, and banana peppers. I prefer um, this. Actually, my favorite pizza, I think, is this one pizza that we get, like, locally. It has, I think, Kalamata olives, feta cheese, um, I don't know, some kind of, like, a white, does it even have white sauce on it? Maybe, like, a light white sauce? I don't know. It's, like, fucking delicious. It's definitely, like, a, like, a Greek flavors type pizza. Fucking delicious. That is my favorite pizza I've ever had. 
or like a margarita pizza, like I prefer those types of pizzas. But if I'm gonna go just like to a regular like pizza place or something, like I'll just get like pepperoni and like black olive. I'm a pretty boring pizza person, <laughs> truthfully. I have sausage bites with jalapenos and cheddar at Chili's the other day. So fucking delicious. Ugh. I just want to go out to a restaurant. I have not been out eating at a restaurant in so fucking long. I just want to go and sit down and enjoy a meal that I didn't cook and that isn't fucking takeout and fucking soggy and cold by the time I get home. strange I know but it just works I mean it's probably fucking delicious I do not doubt you favorite pizza is pepperoni with stuffed crust a stuffed crust is good. like you just can't be mad at it you know what I mean you just can't be wasn't lining up. I'm gonna go get drunk at Chili's and they have their one dollar cocktails again. Oh my god. I had no idea Chili's had one dollar cocktails. I don't even know. I'm actually not entirely sure if we have a Chili's here. Like now that I'm thinking of it, like I've definitely been to Chili's. seen one in a while. Huh. Or it might be Applebee's. <laughs> we definitely have an Applebee's. Green apple vodka cocktail for a dollar. Yes. I'll take nine. Honestly, same. <laughs> same difference. Yeah, they're pretty much the same anyway. Okay. Um, I guess we can take this little baby back to the table or should I press it? I don't really like want to. <laughs> um, Cause all I need to do is like fold this like that. And then I think just sew down, just sew her down. You know what I mean? Let's just do that while we're here wouldn't know about cocktails I get a beer or water what you've never had have you ever had a cocktail though hunky like just like a like a mixed drink of some kind wine thing at Applebee's is fucking god tier. I don't think I've had that. I can appreciate the drama behind beer making, but I hate it. Much more of a cider person. I really, really like beer. I'm definitely a beer person, but I'm also like an alcohol person. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna actually like try to be careful and like sew this like nice instead of just kind of fucking half at haphazardly or whatever that fucking word is. Um, yeah, some are good, but I like my cores light. <sighs> Dude, I just like I cannot get behind cores. Um, the only thing I use cores for is boiling my brats in. That's all I use cores for. <laughs> I'm a gin and tonic kind of gal. 
for my Amaretto Sours. I don't think I've had one of those. I have had a fucking G&T, and I will tell you what, they are fucking tasty. Kira, hello. Thank you for the follow. I'm sure you're probably lurking in the darkness somewhere, but welcome. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> Thank you, hunky. Heresy? What? I Truly, though. I mean, my dad begs to differ. He's definitely like a Coor, Coors original kind of guy. I just am like not a fan. I just don't... I don't like light beer. I just don't understand the point of it. Gin tonic with a bit of lime and simple syrup. I don't even, I don't even put simple syrup in mine. <laughs> it's just pure fucking bitter. But I also might be a psychopath, so <laughs> who knows? Um, two things I can always count on to taste good is Coors and Fireball. Um, I went to the Coors Brewery, actually, like where they make it in Golden, Colorado. That was cool. Um, but other than that, I just, I don't really... Loggers like that, I just can't, I don't know, they just aren't great. They're like not my favorite, and especially light beer, I just, why, like why? You know what I mean? Like get it fully leaded, baby. I fucking love Fireball, my priestess and I drink that shit on the rocks. Oh my god. Tastes like big red gum and very smooth. Um... I don't know. I like to mix it with stuff, but I don't like to drink it, right, just by itself. I think mixing it with cider is, like, super good. Like, Angry Orchard? It's like an apple fucking pie, dude. shoulder seam okay <laughs> always have fireball on hand at the golf courses I mean like I could be down um for like drinking and playing golf sure am I gonna have fireball and fucking Coors Light no <laughs> I'm just start DMing you the ciders I get I'm very partial to green apple angry orchards I don't think I've had the green apple, but green apple is like one of my favorite flavors of like <laughs> orchids, orchard, <laughs> close enough. Um, hello, silently watching during recess. Well, hello, bookish, hi. Um, I do really like ciders, so I would not be mad if you DM'd me some delicious ciders that you were trying. Um, green apple side tastes like Granny Smith. That sounds fucking tasty. I'll tell you what. Yeah, green apple, like those green apple flavor is like one of my favorite flavors of all time. Um, but yeah, that's my story. Uh, like oh like hard candies and stuff like if there's a green apple flavor like that's the one I want have you tried green apple bootlegger um no I haven't tried like a lot of oh god it's truly been 
<laughs> it's truly been like almost a decade since I think I've had anything green apple alcohol at all. I just sort of like moved on to like gin and whiskey <laughs> and didn't have anything really like flavored like that in particular, I guess. Um, what is happening? Is that gonna be wonky? Maybe, I don't know. Could you put this project on YouTube? Watch it please, Adult Life forces me to work. I sure can, yes. Um, oh God, how do I do this? thing here. That, okay, this is gonna be a really short bookish. No, bookish. I will. Cool. <laughs> um, love Jen, whiskey hates me. Um, I like whiskey. I really do like whiskey. I drink that shit on the rocks red light come on we playing squid games here i have not i don't i i haven't seen it sorry <laughs> i like to wait until it's ab things are absolutely irrelevant before i start enjoying them so that everyone else can go wow you really didn't see that 10 years ago when it was popular and then i can go no i'm just now jumping on the bandwagon <laughs> because I'm basically an old person now. <laughs> um, I always end up stripping my boxes because I get way too hot. Oh, stripping to my boxes, they get way too hot. With whiskey? It does, yeah, I feel like I could see that whiskey would like warm your bones. Um, I'm gonna wait 10 years to watch, damn. I mean, like, not actually. <laughs> um, I just am always, like, so late on trends. I'm just, like, a fucking old person. Um, so. Unfortunately, that's just how it has to be. I don't want it to be that way. That's just who I am as a person. <laughs> I don't intentionally do it. It just works out. Crown Royal is my face fave whiskey at the moment. Or Maker's Mark if I'm feeling fancy. Um, we have, I think we have Maker's Mark. I think that's what we have right now. Bourbon's really good though, for sure. <laughs> Whiskey makes me sweat. Um, I actually, like, whenever I'm drinking, I usually get, like, cold. Like, I don't often get hot when I drink. Like, I usually get, um, like, the drunk shivers. Like, I'm not usually one to, like, take my clothes off. I'm like, I need blankets and jackets. People, I know who work at facilities want me to taste their products and buy it. Me, I don't know. It doesn't really taste all that good. <laughs> you don't drink it for the taste. What? You do too drink whiskey for the taste. There's, okay, there is a way to drink fucking whiskey. And you drink it for the taste. They're wrong. They are just wrong. Keep a bottle of super cheap whiskey in my freezer for emergencies. I fucking love that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know like what emergency you like need whiskey for, but like I'm about that. I'm about that life. is done baby 
You drink it to get drunk? Okay, not if it's good whiskey. The fuck? Punky, don't listen to them. They're just factually wrong. Ooh, this actually... Oh, okay. That's, like, looking pretty nice. This, uh... Ribbon facing might be, like, a new thing for me. Okay. Um, if I don't... <laughs> if it don't taste good, I don't want it. Um, there's a way to drink whiskey. Like, a specific way, which sounds really fucking pretentious, and it kind of is. Um... But yeah, there's a way to drink it and it does taste good. Heartbreak, end of the world, and you need to cleanse a wound, a little barding in the end of times. You know what? That's a fair point. That is a fair point. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the table. Bing bong, bing bong. Okay, need to chop that ribbon off. Um... But yeah, if anyone fucking tells you that you drink whiskey to get drunk, not for the taste, they've never had good fucking whiskey. Okay. So this is like what the inside looks like, which it probably doesn't look like a lot to you, but it looks like a lot to me. <laughs> um... And then I need to, like, scooch this down to two and a half inches, I think. And then I'll probably use, like, some of this to do the same situation and then fold it over. Um, I think I'll probably when I like fold it back over I'll probably put that like underneath so it's like a little bit stronger maybe I don't know we'll see because how wide is this uh, my friends tell us having a bad day when I come home flick off the ground royal lid sit there tumbler for the rest of the evening and silence just sipping until I stopped wanting to scream I feel like that's I get it. <laughs> like, I get it. Maybe I should have done the bottom of this also. Like, the hem here. I feel like I should have done the hem. Um, drink, like, half bottle vodka straight once because I was drunk and thought it was water. That's just, like, fucking whack, dude. Um... I just don't, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever drank like that before, necessarily. Gin is a recent love of mine. Ugh, I have loved gin from the moment I tasted it. It tastes like so, just so fucking good. My favorite gin, which I feel like you maybe have had I don't know, um, is Hendrix. I think that's my favorite gin I've absolutely ever had. Okay. Um, had it for the first time like two years ago. Ugh. I know everyone is like, ooh, gin's so fucking gross, but it's like any alcohol that you get that's fucking cheap is gonna be gross. Like get good alcohol. Oh, bookish is lurking. I know you can't hear me, but thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Sew it to the right side, flip her over, sew it again. Haven't had it, but I've had it recommended a lot. It has, um, I know gin like itself inherently is like already herbal, um, but this one has a like, I don't know, it's just like a lot more like of a botanical, like herbal flavor. I love like herb, herby flavored anythings. Um, yeah, if it's like an herbal botanical whatever, like I'm there. <laughs> Tend to buy Bombay Sapphire. I like the almost perfume taste of it. I don't know. 
if I recall having Bombay. I've definitely had, what gins have I had? Another good gin I had was Roku gin. It's a gin from Kyoto. That was kind of expensive, but it was pretty good. Uh, proper gin is literally toxic because it's made from juniper. Um, yeah, the juniper berries. I mean, all gin should be made with juniper berries or then it's not gin, I think is kind of like the rule. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> I thought we were gonna come over here and do stuff, but I think I'm gonna go back to sewing and then where this little piece of elastic is peeking through, I think I'm just gonna stitch that a little bit closed. It's gonna be on the side seam. I don't think anyone will notice that the side seam is a little puckery or wonky. Um, and then we'll just do the ribbon at the bottom. And then the bottom is hemmed, which is like bada bing, bada boom, love that. And then I think we'll just have to figure out how, hopefully these like elastic pieces are long enough. Juno, is juniper poisonous? Like what the fuck, dude? Okay, I need to Google this because um, I've never heard that before. Juniper berries edible. Um, I don't know, this says you can eat them. Oh, okay, so it has the oil thujone. I never know how to fucking thujone. I don't know how to pronounce that. But sage has it, and I think marijuana also has this chemical compound. Um, yeah. I think maybe some types of juniper are poisonous. I don't know. The berries are slightly toxic, I believe. Ryan Reynolds gin. I did not like his gin. Um, Dead and I got it kind of like as a low key joke. Um, Cause then I'm like, well, he's always like pushing it. Like maybe it's good. I was not a fan of his gin. Um, there is a small number of juniper species that are poisonous. Um, the thujone or something that I think if you have large quantities of, but that's also in sage. Um, and that can cause like psychoactive effects, I believe because I was reading this article like a hundred years ago that people were like, can I smoke sage to get high? But, <coughs> excuse me, and I was like, can you? But not really, <laughs> so. Okay, I guess let's just sew the hem part of this up really quickly. It's okay for cocktails, like, as a filler. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we tried, like, just drinking it for sure. But I have to agree. It's definitely, like, a filler for sure. It's not, it's a mixer. It's not to be had on its own. Okay. So here is all of the ribbon <laughs> that I have left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got enough. Cool. You can mix lavender and cannabis to affect the way the weed hits you. Really? Um, I know that I like to put lavender in all of my food because <laughs> I love it a lot. Okay, going back to the machine. I think I'm gonna have like literally just enough ribbon 
to do the um the hem and also that little piece to hook the elastic on uh they have similar turpins i don't know what that is i don't know what a turpin is or if i'm even pronouncing that correctly okay all right we looking good we're looking good okay um oh 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 Um, I do really fucking like lavender though, like high key. Uh, it's what things smell. It's what makes things smell like things or taste like things. It's the smell of lavender, the taste of berries and citrus. Oh, okay. I did not know that was the word for that. <laughs> But I like to use lavender in my cooking a lot because it tastes and smells delicious. And that, I think, is just factual. Okay. Um, I'm actually really excited that this... Uh, ribbon facing situation is like turning out so well or at least so far has turned out so well because then I'm like I could use this as like a technique all the time so I like how just like simple and like nice it looks yo divine what is up how's it going welcome in how are you it's been a while, you know? Um, okay. Also, I don't know. This just is so nice. I love it. Good. How are you? Um, doing okay. I feel like I'm, like, met, like, I don't know, like, evening out. I don't know, balancing out. This morning I had like a lot of adrenaline <laughs> when I woke up and then after the adrenaline went away I was like holy shit I'm really tired and now I'm feeling like I've had some coffee I should have made like more coffee though because I just think that was not enough I had like a half a pot though I feel like that should be enough But yeah, that's um, my day today. <laughs> Quite an adventure. Yeah, it was just like a lot of like beep, 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 beep. And then I got ready for the stream, which like kind of like I calmed down. And then I feel like my brain was just like, okay, danger gone, go to sleep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, you can also get kind of high off frankincense and myrrh. It's not like actually being high, but it's relaxing. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people have suggestions for like herbs and stuff for like ritual. Like, oh, I really cannot recall. I know uh, Damiana, Damiana. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I've only ever seen it spelled. <laughs> um, sage even and there's another one mugwort is that right i don't know just woke up well good morning to you divine <laughs> okay so i'm gonna sew the seam towards the front typically you would not do that you would sew the seam like toward the back 
but there's going to be unnecessary pressure on this elastic if I sew it to the back. So I'm going to sew it to the front. Um, that's a big reason it's been used by the Egyptians. A slight psychotropic effect um, helps create a temple effect. Oh, okay. I think that's really interesting. I'm like fascinated by that. I've never tried it or done it. Um, but I've heard lots of good things about like making like teas and stuff for like relaxation for ritual, but it makes me nervous. Um, gotta go, hop on later. Okay, well, have a good day. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Is this correct? I feel like I didn't do something correctly, but whatever. It's probably fine. Mugwort is Europe's answer to white sage when it comes to fumigation or ritual process. Um... I've heard people like are making like teas and smoking my wart. So. But I was under the impression that it was like a traditional sort of like situation. Now what I mean, dog? I mean, unless it is, I don't know. Try the blue lotus tea. I've heard lots of things about the blue lotus tea. The lotus eaters in the Odyssey. Um, let me know how that goes. I'm also like just generally fascinated about um, those kinds of, it is traditional. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I never know what's what anymore about anything ever. Um, but yeah, let me know how the Lotus goes. I've heard like lots and lots about it, but I mean, it's used very similarly to White Sage. Okay, yeah, 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 I get ya. I'm picking up what you're putting down. It must be like allergies, my forehead itches. I feel like that's like a weird thing, but boyfriend drinks lotus tea for nightmares. Does that like help? What is it? Okay. I've heard about, oh my God, sorry. My head is like itchy. Um, I've like heard about it. Like what's it supposed to do exactly? I haven't like done my own research on it. So I'm like not really entirely sure. Assuming it just has like a sort of like relaxing effect or no. Okay. Oh, little baby boy Isaac is having a puppy dream. Puts him in a bit of a deeper sleep so he doesn't wake up freaking out as easily. Okay, not exactly sure what it does. Yeah, I've heard of, like, I've, like, heard about it for, like, ritual use and, like, meditation and things like that. Um, but I also was, like, for a while seeing people, like, on TikTok, like, doing it to get high. So I'm, like, I don't really know. I don't, I just really don't know. <laughs> Dreams can be kind of weird on it though. Are they like super vivid? Um, oh, where the heck are my scissors? I guess I can just go ahead and wrap this around and then sew it. You don't really need to cut anything off right the second. 
I mean, you can get high off it all about your intention. I guess, but I mean, like, like, what is it, like, uh, like, physically? Do, like, are you physically, like, you know what I mean? Like, whereas, like, you drink alcohol and you get drunk, it's not, like, necessarily if you intend to get drunk or not. Like, it does pretty much the same thing to, like, every person, if that makes sense. I mean, or if maybe they're just drinking so fucking much of it or smoking so much of it or whatever they're doing with it that they are getting high, I suppose. It is a drug, not just not a super strong one. Okay. Um, but yeah, let me know how your experience is with it. I'm like super fascinated. Yeah, I feel like the ribbon at the hem is probably good. I was like, <laughs> after like I've already done it, I'm like, is this what I want? I'm like, I don't even know. Oh. I was like not paying attention a little bit and the hem got a little wonky, but that's fine. What are you making? I've just been rambling this entire time. <laughs> um, I'm making a top. It's like a wrap top. Um, and it has like poofy sleeves, but I think they're gonna be like a poofy three quarter sleeve. I think I just didn't make them long enough. Um, yeah, it's just like a top. That's pretty much it. Um, once we go back to the table, I have like a picture of it up. I probably should have had a picture on this screen too, but. <laughs> fabric is very peasanty. I love it. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. I've actually had this fabric and this project like on deck for like the entire summer. I meant to make it as a summer top, but then like, I don't know. I think sometimes my brain just like goes like full ADHD mode. Cause, um, then I just like got, just was doing other projects and then just didn't do this one. I don't really know why. And then I just kind of started avoiding it because I wasn't doing it. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, but I'm doing it now. Might as well have it done. Um, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. Eat the rich and wear burlap, such a mood. <laughs> I... I don't know, man. I don't know about eating anyone and wearing any burlap, but I feel the vibe. Okay, is this correct? I don't fucking know. Oh no, what time is it? It's only 10.41, I'm getting like so hungry. <laughs> Speaking of eating. <laughs> I just like basically was so fucking amped up this morning. I just didn't eat breakfast. I usually try to eat like a little something just cause I get, I'm usually like, if I'm not consistently drinking coffee, I just get so fucking hungry. <laughs> I mean, I wish I got hungry in the morning. I don't, I don't know. It depends. Like I, I mean, to be fair, I've been awake for almost five hours. So it's not like I'm awake right when I, or I'm, fuck. <laughs> It's not like I'm hungry right when I wake up because I just got hungry and I woke up at 6 a.m. 
and it is 1042. Which is like about right for me. I usually am up for about four or five, maybe six hours some days, like before I get hungry. But I know that because I plan to stream for about four hours at a time, that I like to eat like a little something beforehand so I'm not starving, but I forgot. <laughs> Fair point, yeah. So yeah, I really am not usually hungry when I first wake up. On a rare occasion, I am like hungry when I wake up, but that's not like the norm at all. hydrate oh my god thank you hold on let me finish okay I just have like a little couple of inches here to finish and then I'll grab my water Ooh, posture check fucking tell me about it <laughs> okay cool so that's like all done um Okay, I guess we can move to the table and I will grab my water. Bum, 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 bum. It's like fucking whack because it was supposed to be like cloudy all day and now it's like really sunny outside, which I feel like I shouldn't be complaining about, but like, look at a damn. Okay, let's just put that down. Okay, um, I will be hydrating <sighs> and standing up straight now. <laughs> I'll like point that more towards me. Okay, so up in this corner right here, that's the top I am making. So let's cut this little ribbon off and then I've got in so this piece I'm gonna put like another little piece of like ribbon on and then so that has like some structure and then these little elastic pieces depending on how like wide around I need it to be like comfortably I'm gonna sew these down here and then boop and then I'm gonna put another one of these straps here on this end and so it'll tie over here in the corner boop and then these I'm gonna put some like little elastic channels so those will be some like poofy little sleeves so I'm really close to being done actually um no complaint is <laughs> like it's October and the high is gonna be 90 today um wow that is quite warm um the high for the last week has been like 80 something here it's like just now like this whole weekend is supposed to be like thunderstorms and rain like it's supposed to just like drastically um cool down very victorian meets hippie thank you okay i'm gonna take my sweatshirt off and then like kind of try it on around my t-shirt and see like where those should I okay wait a second here that's like I need 29 and a half so that hardly even needs to be like gathered at all okay um so we need 
two and a half. And then I think we will do a similar situation with this and then doing it flipped over. So it has like a nice clean edge. So Chica got to head out, getting packed up. Great stream today, excited to see the finished results. Well, thank you for hanging out. Um, I hope you have a lovely time and I hope you have a good getting packed up or whatever, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I honestly cannot wait to share the results, but I hope you have a good day and I'll see you later. Also, I love that I have this Disneyland sweatshirt and underneath I have a Tokyo Disney t-shirt on. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I think I even went with the smaller top. I like truly am not understanding these fucking tops dude why is this gapping gaping so fucking much I like literally don't even know how to fix that other than putting like a fucking weirdo dart in I don't know bye see you later Dagan Yeah, this is just gonna be like fully gaping open. Like what am I doing wrong? I don't know. I truly do not know. Um This is like weird. Uh, I really don't know how to fix this. Um, I guess I can just, and I thought this was going so well too. Am I just making it out of fabric that like isn't good? I'm so sad. That this just like is not where it's at. It's like, I don't wanna, like how, what the heck dude? I need, like, a professional. Yeah, also, these sleeves are gonna be, like, a three-quarter sleeve. They just did not end up long enough at all. Probably should have measured from here to here. Yeah, because it's, like, four inches too short. And that just ain't right. Okay. Um... I'm wondering if I could cut this shorter maybe and then gather this up more. I don't know because this is just like, like look at this is like not, I feel like this just is not what's up. Cause it's like, I have it closed, right? And then it's just like gaping open like this. And then that side is like literally doing the same thing. Um, I'm kind of like at a loss to be honest because like what do I do um because I feel like I'm gonna have to cut it so the tie is gonna be here and then I'm gonna have to do this a similar thing, I think, to this side. 
and I'm so sad that these patterns just like are not working out. And I was even saying, <sighs> like before I started this project, that it's like a free pattern um, from Mood Fabrics and like every single pattern I think I've done has just been like an absolute mess. And I'm like not entirely sure like why that's happening. Like if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just that it is a free pattern um, or what, I don't know. I almost wish that I just had really long straps on both ends and I could have just like wrapped it around my waist and tied it in the front, you know what I mean? Like wrapped it like this and then had this like come around and then it would tie in the front. Cause then at least it wouldn't be like gaping so much and then I'm like, I went with like a smaller size even. Cause every time I've made one, they've been too big. This is just like whack, dude snobbish panic hello welcome um thank you for the follow how's it going sorry don't mind me I'm just trying to troubleshoot <laughs> why this is not working out okay I think what I'm gonna do is pull this around my waist and then I think wherever this stops gaping I might have to like sew it down like that which is such a bummer <laughs> because I wanted this shirt to be like not with a bra, like I wanted to wear it braless. And I'm truly very sad about that. Okay, so that needs to go all the way like down here. And then it's like, I mean, I guess I could wear like a cute like lacy bra or something with it, but like truthfully that just like makes me so sad okay and if we have it like this kind of a situation then at least it like looks like I don't know intentional because I think what I'll have to do I think I'll have to put this like in half here where these ends are like matching down and then okay I think we're figuring it out JD hello how's it going I'm trying to I'm like trying to fix <laughs> I'm having a crisis uh, snobbish I tried to sew patch over a hole in some jeans 15 years of not sewing anything it didn't work so well <laughs> yeah I'm like what the hell why does sewing have to be like this like I just wanted to have a good time like why like why did it have to be this way um cuz then if I sew these down together and then sew those edges um I think that that should be fine because like I said I could just wear like a cute bra underneath that's like lacy or something it's like meant to be seen and then just 
have to make a little snip here so it's like straight across and then which sucks because I have these two like two inches worth of this elastic but I guess I could maybe overlap them a little bit good doing some cleaning in my living room father is coming like 30 minutes need to make it a bit of a living room <laughs> and not just like this is where I play video games like uh, don't worry dad I'm in fact an adult Well, I wish you luck in making it into a living room. I also love that you're like, my dad's coming over in 30 minutes. And then like, you're here hanging out in the stream. I just feel like that's, you're a crazy person. Okay. And then, is that like a thing? I guess that would just like have to be, which like, I guess, I don't know. It's fine. It's just not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, my father's used to my area being a mess. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, but I mean, I guess at least that's like nice, uh, but we're gonna saw a picture frame. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that you um, had that like satin picture made. Don't worry, dad, I'm a real adult past 30 and my pops has a hard time understanding that. Yeah. Then I'm like, what even is a real adult? Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know. Um, oh, here it is. I was like, I have a question. Where did that other strap even go? Okay, so then we've got it like so. And then I guess we'll just have to kind of like squanch everything down. Because I have to flip this guy inside out. And then ugh, probably should press that because that's going to be an actual pain in my ass. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I feel like my dad just is like, are you a real adult? I'm sure there's like no way he thinks that I'm a real adult, right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he does. Okay. So, I might just like press it like a little bit, just like a little. And then I think after that situation is remedied, I can hem or put in the elastic channel for the sleeves. And I think it's done. I think. Okay, so this side is the side. Oh, man, I really just don't want to press it. <laughs> I don't know, I do all his grocery shopping for him and take him to all his doctor wounds. He's still big on questioning adultness. I feel like maybe that's just what parents do. They just say, well, I've been an adult longer than you. Bookish is like lurking and she's still like perfect as at being a mod. Thank you, Bookish. Oh, why is this not working at Bookish? Okay, like I said, I need to press this, so I guess that's what we'll do. Okay, this is gonna make an awful noise. I probably should WD-40 this, but please excuse me. Wow. My ironing board <laughs> is 
like almost 10 years old. But am I gonna replace it? Nope. I just put a new cover on it. <laughs> baby up wait for her to heat up cool um yeah so we'll attach like the finish the waistline I guess so with the other little strappy guy um and the elastic in the side seam and I think then after that all that has to be done is the sleeves that's it so that's kind of exciting. I'm really sad though. Who in the heck? Um, I am like super sad that this just like did not turn out how I thought it was gonna turn out. Like I just don't understand how both of the wrap tops I've made with a Mood Society pattern, like why they both gape. I wonder if anyone else has had that problem or if that's just like a me problem or something? I don't even know. Alright, Demi, gotta run some errands. Give your page a follow. Good luck with the project. Thank you. Um, well, thanks for stopping by and giving me a follow. Um, I hope you have a good day running errands. Um, if you're not busy tomorrow, I will be streaming same time, same place. But yeah, have a good day. Goodbye. Um, okay. So anyway, that's just like my sad life is I just don't understand like why this is just not working. Then I'm like, the patterns are free, you know what I mean? Like can I really be like upset about it? Maybe not. Okay, I think I'm just gonna kind of try to finagle this in here a little bit. And then, cause I could kind of like do some like little pleaty type things here, you know? Okay, I think actually I'm gonna start at the like bottom edge. I think that makes the most sense. I feel like this is gonna end up looking kind of janky. I'm like, that makes me get so fucking bummed out. And then I'm just like, I don't know. I just like, I'm wondering like, what the heck have I done wrong? Why? Okay. And then I'm like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is so thick. It's not pinning very well. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, okay. But I think, like, just judging by how actually close I am to finishing this, it'll definitely be done by the end of the stream, which is kind of exciting. That was a quick, quick little project. Okay, so that's just, like, kind of, like pleated sort of and pinned on I think that'll be fine question mark I don't know I might also sew down the hem again like together since I had to adjust this um you did nothing wrong queen never does anything wrong they did off with their heads right that's because I'm trying to not be like so overly critical about it though like truthfully and being like oh what did I do wrong but it's just like 
weird to me that it's like every pattern something has like gone wrong and I'm like so I feel like it has to be like me like I have to be doing something like weird Okay, and then this guy will also need to be sewn. Yeah, I guess I'm just like, I'm like the common denominator here, so it must, must be me. Okay. And then trim this up. Maybe, boop, there we go. That should be like good enough. I'm like, at this point, <laughs> do I even care? Not really. I'm so not like fucking pleased. Okay. I'm like, why? I just, I, I'm like, am I just like not as good at sewing as I thought I was? I used to never have fucking problems like this. And then I'm like, have I just been like out of it for too long that I just like haven't been actively sewing? I don't even know. Okay, so let's sew on the tie and then the little, um, this little facing situation. I think I might use a lighter to <laughs> uh, finish off that ribbon. This is like definitely not standard practice, but it's a slippery fabric and I don't want to have to like finish it. And it's a synthetic fiber, so it'll just melt. Definitely don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the sewing table um, or the sewing machine. Sew our pieces down. Um, and then I will put it back on and then figure out, then I'll actually like pin on the elastic and then sew the elastic on. Cause I'm not really sure where I need that to be exactly. So, okay, let's go sew this on. I think I'm gonna get this out of the way here. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Excuse me, Freya. <laughs> and then, like, Dad's not here. He's at work today. I feel bad about, like, kicking the dogs out. So I'm just going to, like, leave them in here, even though they're, like, super in the way. <laughs> yeah, Freya, you're in the way. Okay. sure after this project gets finished like what the next thing is gonna be you know what I mean I have not made it that far and I'm like like geez I'm only halfway through the stream so might have to just depending on how well or how not well this goes might have to find another project to start. So the king is out hunting on his domain. Yes, that is exactly what he's doing. But <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like bad like kicking them out because then it's like they don't have like anyone else, you know what I mean? So they're like definitely, definitely in the way, but I suppose I can allow it today. Whoop. Okay, boop. And then I should. 
should be able, there we go, get that pin out of there. I'm going to try to like get this pretty much on top of the other stitches so there isn't like a weird double stitch effect. Oops, spoke too soon. But at the same time, like, whatever. Like, this is messed up anyway. I'm mad. Okay. That's all good. I guess that's not, like, so, like, way off. It's fine. I don't love it. I'm just really disappointed that that, that this is a thing, that this happened. but I'll make it work. It'll just have to be like my other top and I'll have to wear something under it so it's not gonna be a top I can wear without a bra like I was hoping. But whatever. Um, I think I wanna start working on some more kind of like historically inspired um projects next i think um like i want to do just like a white cotton like piratey type shirt and i want to do queen regalia <laughs> i mean i would like to but i don't know about that whole fucking project to start because i do not have anything an idea, firstly, to start with, or any materials for it. Uh oh. Oh jeez. This is a little bit of a mess. Um, but I think I want to do like a, like a, a sort of like padded armor kind of a situation. Um, but that will require me to dye some cotton, like just basic cotton weave fabric and some flannel. Because I want the illusion to be that it has like a wool lining and then like a cotton outer piece and then I'm going to like quilt them together. is the idea anyway. Okay, so now we can figure out where the elastic needs to be. Ooh, that's gonna be very stupid to sew in, but it'll be fine, I think. Queen regalia with hot dog patterns, oh my god. Genuinely, that's an idea. That is an idea, sir. Uh oh. Okay. So, let me switch her over here. Boop, tabletop. Okay. Um, I actually, there was like a stream a while ago we were talking about, um, because Marie Antoinette is like my favorite historical villain <laughs> and I've always wanted to make a Marie Antoinette costume and we made a joke that I could do like a hot dog queen costume and do like a baroque rococo styled dress but make it like hot dogs <laughs> um okay <laughs> villain lol I would I would argue that she is a villain right a historical villain she gambled France's money away um she threw extravagant parties while her country was starving um she obviously was bad enough to the people that not only did they make up a lie that she said let them eat cake while they were starving but they cut off her fucking head. So, 
I would argue she is a historical villain. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to do like a Marie Antoinette inspired costume. And we were joking about doing a hot dog queen Marie Antoinette crossover, which I feel like would be hilarious. Okay. Um, in a second here... After I finish trimming all of my like loosey goosey threads, I think I'm gonna use little gamers room really quick. Had a lot of coffee today. And then um, we can all figure out where I need my, with my little situation here, like this little guy, figure out where I need my elastics to be like going. True. There's also propaganda to this. I mean, back then mostly were disconnected from the real world. That's true. Um, but at least I like to consider her a villain, like a historical villain, if you will. Um, also she was just such a young queen, you know, it's like, how could she have known? like anything <laughs> okay let's let me use the bathroom and then I will be right back okay that doesn't look as like awful as I thought it was going to I think she was doing it with mean intention just ignorance I a hundred percent agree with you I think she was just like an ignorant child who had like literally like no awareness um okay let me go to the bathroom be right back and then we can do the elastic and the channels for the arm sleeve things okay uh be right back Okay, we're gonna move to the sewing machine. Wait, what? No, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry. <laughs> um, as for cutting her head, about a third of France was off with their head at that time. I mean, I think a lot of people in general back in the day were just sort of like off with their fucking head. I think a lot of people are just really like cutting off other people's heads. And that shit just ain't right. Okay, so let's see about this elastic situation here. Okay, I think the shoulders are a little, 
actually like way fucking small for me. I have such broad shoulders for my size. Okay. Um, here we go. Like this. Um, okay. Let's see. I think the next time I try to make like a pattern like this, I think I'm going to do like a muslin mock-up. I just think that I'm going to have to, I just think my body proportions in general aren't like standard or average. So I'm just going to have to do mock-ups like a normal person. Okay, I think like, cause I also don't want it to be like super tight either. I just want the elastic to just be right where it needs to be, if that makes sense. So when I pull it on, it's not like super, super tight, which I guess I should probably pin and see if that even works. I guess we'll start with the bottom because that fits like, like just fits around me. Ouch. Okay. And now do the top one. Okay. And then I can cut off the excess. I'll probably leave this pinned and then just pin it down. Okay, so here we go. Let's actually see if this is like a thing. Okay. So it's not uh, the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'll say that. So this is like kind of, I guess, what it'll look like. Definitely has like, like kimono vibes. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I've just been watching too much fucking anime. Okay. So, can I get this off and on, is the question. Oh, it makes me so nervous. I'm like, what if I just rip it? Also, the pins make me nervous. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I was just very scared of the pins. So, oh, wow, what a day, dude. I feel like problem solving sewing projects that I really just wanted to work out how I wanted them to work out makes me sad. <laughs> Bookish, don't rip it. I thought I might. Um, Star Wars Visions? I have not. Star Wars made by popular Japanese anime studio. Um, I have not. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> um, is it pretty good? I'm guessing yes. I think what I might do is just get these like all like lined up and then like sew like a pretty big square. Because I think this will be okay if I have it like sewn down properly. Some episodes are others not as much um okay 
It's a lot, a lot of different anime styles. Okay. No, I have not seen that. I don't even think I've heard of it, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna trim that off because I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this down like across here and then also like a big like X square box things just to hold them in place just because this fabric is like kind of delicate. Hopefully since it's been like doubled up on itself, blah, blah. Um, it'll have a little bit more hold to it. Um, oh, those aren't even matching lengths. Cool, okay. Nice and trimmed. Make that one straight as well. I don't understand. Okay, whatever. And then the la I just have to do this. Last thing is the sleeves. So, um, sadly I have to go, oh, bookish, no worries. I'll re-upload the streams if you want to re-watch them on YouTube. So, you are good to go. But I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, well, my Lord Father is here, I'll need to <laughs> quit the court. Okay, well, I hope you have a lovely time. Send pictures of, um your picture on the wall I guess but yeah have a good day is it all black and white Japanese brush painting okay that is super cool I'll have to check it out um okay I think the sewing machine we can go over to now cool um hope you all have a great stream that you finish your project thank you bookish you're so sweet Okay, I wish I need to get a I need to fix the setup here, but okay. So I think first things first is to just sew like straight across. I feel like um. It's quite bulky, so I think I might have a little bit of trouble, but it'll be okay. And then I think, oh, was that pin gonna mess me up? I don't even know. Okay, let's see if we can, <laughs> see if we can finagle it a little bit. Okay, so far so good. And then I wanna get the pins out of there, I think. Like pretty, pretty much immediately, okay. Cause then I can sew down this edge right here, I think. Maybe? Oh, it's so bulky. Oh no. Can, I don't know. I've never like raised up the presser foot before. So I think I'm just gonna like not do that and maybe just help feed this through the machine. not even closed okay <sighs> I mean it's a little it's actually like super wonky but I'm kind of like at the point of I don't know if I care I'm so mad that this is just like not did not work out the way I wanted it to <laughs> Also, it's just for me and I think as long as it like looks good, 
on the outside, like while I'm wearing it, I'm not too concerned. I think that is just that. Each of these elastic pieces is going to have its own little box with its own little X in it. And so hopefully that'll add a little bit of structure. To the elastic so it's not like pulling out of the fabric. One more little little boxy box. Easy peasy. I know there is like definitely a right and a wrong way to do this, and I'm not doing it the right way, but whatever. The song is like called coffee break i'm like i need more coffee i don't know need is kind of a strong word but i feel like i need it okay but i could like i could use some more coffee i think i mean it is almost noon i don't know Okay, Did, wait, oh my god. No, this is right. I was gonna say, did I just like completely sew this on like wrong? Okay, cool. Um, so I guess let's uh, trim all of the, all of these threads here. And then we can do the, the sleeve, the sleeve channels for the elastic. Holy cow, I need to close the blinds a little bit. It's kind of blinding me. There we go. Holy cow, it's like crazy because like not complaining, I'm glad that there is still sun because usually by this time it's like freezing outside. Um, but like it was supposed to be like cloudy today and the sun is just like feels like amplified or something maybe i've just been spending too much time indoors and i don't know what the sun is like couldn't be that i suppose okay so i'm gonna clean this up just get these threads out of our way and then then we can do the channels and my f elastic is three eighths of an inch so I probably want like half inch channels I would say just to give it a little bit of room and then I'll have to be like if I'm doing like a half I'll just need to be very careful um I feel like there's always the option of sewing in the elastic, but I also just kind of don't know if I want to do that because I don't want any of the like zigzag stitches to show on the sleeve. I guess I could sew the zigzag stitch like on the inside, like where you would fold it down maybe i don't know it might just be easier to do a channel and thread it through and i don't really have to worry about 
getting it all like lined up. I just have to thread the elastic through and then sew it together. Okay, boop. And then, I'm trying to think. Nope, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to do. There are like raw edges on the inside that I could sew down, which I might like later, like off stream, because I feel like that would just be a lot of closing up raw edges that I probably should have done before I started doing any of the finishing. <laughs> but what can you do? I mean, at least it like looks cute. And I haven't tried it on without another shirt on, so I don't really know how it looks, but it seems like it's okay. <laughs> seems all right. Look at that. I'm just like so bummed that it got like, it was so like gaping in the front. Okay, well, I guess the like kind of loopy bits in the front kind of give it a little extra dimension. So maybe not entirely a bad thing. Okay. So I think, cause I need my elastic. Cause it's probably gonna be ending up like at my forearm, I would guess. So I'm gonna need fabric to fit around or elastic to fit around my forearm. And that doesn't feel, that's like pretty loose here. So with the bunched up fabric, I feel like that'll be okay. Watch it be like, somehow super duper tight and then we need two of those okay and then we're gonna need to just sit and sew or sit and pin here for a second um i might spruce up my sewing area here <laughs> really quick just because it's a little bit messy and a wise man once told me clean as you go so I should probably do that okay but hmm like do I I don't know it's like wild because I'm like when I'm sewing by myself and just focusing on sewing I feel like it goes a lot faster because when I'm like talking through it I feel like my brain has to think about talking or something because it feels like it takes forever or I just don't have a concept of time while I'm alone sewing and so it seems like it goes faster because I'm like wow two and a half hours and I really didn't have that much to like do I'm like, oh, well, I'll probably finish before I'm done streaming. But then I'm like, maybe I won't. Like, maybe it'll be like right on time, you know? Okay, throwing this away. At least I think my current prediction is that I'm probably gonna finish this up right around the four hour mark. Um, I'm gonna be a little lazy maybe and sit on do I need this? I don't know. God, that's such like an annoying length of ribbon. Like I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that. But I guess I can put it in my ribbon drawer. But yeah, I think I'm gonna sit down on my stool. Cause I don't know if I wanna just like stand for the next hour. You know what I mean? Just don't know. If I want to stand and just pin 
my elastic channel. Okay. Scoot all the, scoot everything over so you guys can like see here. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Okay, Freya. Freya's also tired. Okay. Get that microphone pointed toward my mouth. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to flip this inside out because I'll want to see to make sure everything is like the same length. And then I'll want to be able to like see it, you know? Okay. Um. So if I want <laughs> half an inch, I probably want to do like three quarters of an inch. So I have like a little, that's like a whole ass inch. Cause then I'll have a quarter of an inch to play with while I'm like sewing around. I need a ruler. Also, I don't know if it's like just a me thing or like what's going on, but I'm like running out of pins. So like a normal thing I mean I do still have like a shitload of pins so I guess that's good but I was like noticing that I'm just generally running out of pins oh my god now it's like dark here let me get another light going hopefully that does something maybe not eh, I don't think that did anything it feels brighter to me at least <laughs> okay so gonna go ahead and we want this to be three quarters oh my god why am I using a whole ass ruler I should be using the little hem tool thing because <laughs> this guy I can set it to three quarters of an inch and then I don't have to like look at it you know what I mean look at that way easier there's so many tools I never used to use in sewing and or I never really like knew quite like what the purpose of it was and then once I started using them like this guy and this little hem measuring tool I'm like how did I survive without that it's like really just going around and like measuring with a big ass ruler yes I most definitely was Okay, because I guess like my logic behind the three quarters <clears throat> of an inch is I need a channel that's about a half an inch. So if I do three quarters of an inch, that gives me a little bit of room to maybe not sew it perfectly. You know what I mean? So if I go, if I deviate from the path a little bit, it's not like detrimental. Because honestly, at this point, <laughs> this top is like far from perfect. So I'm kind of like not super duper worried about the accuracy. And also it's going to be like gathered up with the elastic. So hardly even going to see like any like puckers or like stitches that are maybe a little too long or a little too short you know okay 
Which I guess is like nice in that way. It's a little more forgiving. Okay, I need some water. Time to hydrate. Because I think that's like what coffee I have left in my cup there is all that's left. I think I could make more, but I really probably shouldn't. Because I wasn't really tired until after 11 last night. And I got up at 6, which I know there are people out there living on less sleep. But I'm a 9 hours of sleep kind of girl. Um, I function the best off of about that much sleep, so... Seven hours is just like, ain't even enough. Cause that was like six maybe, I don't even know. It's like crazy cause I just, hard, I feel like I hardly even know how much sleep I had. Okay. I'm trying to do this so it's not like so like tight here, but I guess it probably doesn't really matter that much. Also, the sleeve is like on a bias, which means it has some stretch, so it's probably fine, truthfully. Make that like a little longer, I think, boop. Okay. Um, I don't know why this just like even popped in my head, like maybe because it's October. I was like just thinking like I haven't seen Hocus Pocus yet this year and I need to. I really <laughs> I'm just like in the mood for like Halloween spooky stuff right now. Want to watch horror movies? I feel like I've never done the traditional horror movies for Halloween. I feel like I've always watched like children's Halloween movies like Nightmare Before Christmas and which I know technically I think um, either Danny Elfman or Tim Burton said it was a Christmas movie technically but watching like Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus, like that kind of shit, they just like little kid Halloween movies. Which I still really love and I still really want to watch, but I think this year I want to do the classic like watching like actual like horror movies and getting like spooky, you know what I mean? Oh my god, that tool is just like so nice because all you do is just like line the edge up, like boop, fold your fabric, line the edge up. Is that like, or is everything lined up? Done. Easy peasy. I love when things are easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, some challenge is good, but I feel like <laughs> with sewing at least, I've had so much challenge. Like, I'm so sick of, like, fabric being on the bias. Like, I'm over it. I think I just need... I don't know. I just... And I thought this was going to be an easy project. And then, I don't, I'm like, is it the pattern? Is it me? I don't know. With the gaping? I don't know. But, yeah. Um. Anyway. I do... Like, in the mood for, like, fucking scary shit. Also, I don't know if anyone else follows Shane Dawson or what, but he's been gone for, like, a long time, like, off the internet. And I saw this morning, while I was just kind of, like, bebopping around and getting stuff ready, that he, um, is back. And he's doing a series called, like, The Haunting of Shane Dawson or, like, some thing or other. And I'm, like, ready for some fucking spooky shit. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm going to sew up the channels um, about... 
in between three quarters and a half an inch, so like maybe five eighths or so. I think right about there will be like good. Um, just so it's like a little bit of extra space. Well, I should probably just do a half inch all the way around because it's three eighths of an inch. Cause that'd be like a quarter of an inch more space. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, but so we'll go, so the channel's down. I'll bring the elastic with me and then kind of stick my arms in and see how it feels and then see if I need to cut longer elastic. Um, and then I'll kind of show you guys the elastic. It's pretty easy. You just like thread it through and then pull the two raw ends and then sew them together and then sew close the channel and then that's literally it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, do that, and then it'll be all done, believe it or not. Okay. Ooh, Ooh this is tight. Hold on. I need to figure out this cord situation with my mic. some of that pressure it was like hooked on my monitor somewhere I don't know it's kind of weird okay so um I think I'm gonna leave I always like to leave a gap to thread through the elastic like right at the like seam just so I like know where it's at and then um when I sew it closed it's hidden so it's not like a weird ugly thing on the top of your fabric Okay, so we're do. oh, that's like way far from the, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I do it right here, and then I don't even do it right there. Okay. Um, so we'll start, like, right here, I think. Give it a couple of back stitches. Alrighty, and then we are on our way. Ugh, I forgot this needle, like, definitely needs to be replaced. Also, I need to grab my little pin tin. I really should be taking those out as I'm sewing. <laughs> okay. And away we go. I remember the first time in college I like sewed in a an elastic channel and I felt like legit. Because I used to, whenever I would sew elastic into anything, I would sew it straight down to the fabric. But then if anything goes wrong with the elastic, it's really hard to... Uh, repair. Um, like I had this one skirt that I really did like, but the elastic got stretched out and it was all sewn to the fabric and it was like just so hard to get out. I ended up just getting rid of the dress or the skirt because it was just like gonna be so much work to fix it that I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know if it's worth it. Um, okay, this is getting like a little like wonky, but this is like the rounded part, I think. Okay, but that's fine. The wonkiness is fine. It's gonna be gathered, so it'll be kind of hidden, I guess. If that makes sense. Which, like I said earlier, is just like nice that like gathering is so forgiving. Because holy cow, I just keep I and then I'm like, am I just picking fabrics that are hard to work with? Like, is that my problem? I don't know. 
Because my Lobelia dress I did, that worked out pretty well. I think I just went a little bit too uh, small with the cuffs. Like I should have done those a little bit bigger. But otherwise I think it fit okay. Probably could have taken it in at the waist, but I ended up taking out the, um, the zipper. So taking out or taking in the waist wasn't really like an option. There's just too much bulk at the skirt, like at the waistline with the gathering of the skirt. I don't know why I didn't like leave a flat part for <laughs> the zipper, but I guess you live and you learn. Actually, I'm going to take this out. Am I? Jeez. Okay. Makes it a little bit easier to sew things that are have a smaller opening. Okay. Let's, oh, that's all twisted around. That would not be good. And then we'll just do the same thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And then we'll loop our elastic. After we sew this channel, we'll loop our elastic through it. And then we can sew it down. Well, make sure that it like fits first, I guess. Oh, I, okay. I'm like, somebody remind me to change this needle. <laughs> Cause I really do just keep forgetting about it and it keeps catching on the fabric, which is obviously an issue. Like if I was sewing something nice, like I would not want it to be like catching. And then I'm like, is it just such a loose weave? I don't know. I feel like the more I'm sewing, the more I'm like, I don't know anything about anything. Honestly, I feel like that's kind of life. Like the more I like learn about stuff, the more I'm like, I don't really know anything. We are cooking now, I'll tell you what. Boop. Okay. And boop. Okay, cool. And then almost done with this cham this last second channel here. And it is time to loop the elastic through. Okay, left enough space. Good, good, good. Um, and what I need. I actually got these because sometimes looping elastic and stuff can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Or if you like lose the elastic, there's like these little elastic tweezers here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the elastic to the outside here. And then we're going to loop this guy through. I think we should be safe to pin it. That should be fine. As long as we go with the pin head, like the opposite or in the direction we're going, if that makes sense. Push it through like that. Oh no, I've got to sneeze. Excuse me. Okay, and we are on our way. And then this like sort of elastic needle, if you will, has definitely made my life way easier when it comes to elastics. Because it's like so easy to find 
there's no like safety pin situation or like trying to push it through with like another object or whatever. Uh oh. Except that pinhead has oh, this is such a loose weave fabric. Oh no, I'm panicking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe this will be easy. Maybe not. Nope. It got caught somewhere. Um, wow. After I was just telling you how easy this was going to be. Maybe I can get it to come through the other end here. And then maybe we can un unattach it to wherever. Oh man, it's like in there wherever it's at. Um, I wonder if I can just pull it out and then just do this. Oh, I might lose it in there, but that's okay. Oh, got it through. That's exciting. Okay, and then making sure <laughs> that this is all the same direction and it's not like twisted up or anything. Okay, no, I think that's good. And then I'll put it around my forearm and see if that feels okay. I think it should be fine, honestly. Oh yeah, I think that that's gonna work just fine. And then we'll do it to the other side. Oh, that's not a sleeve. And then we can sew those um, the elastic together and then that channel closed and then it's all done baby okay which is kind of exciting and I might like try it on like a real try it on and see how it is. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. <laughs> I feel like after, I don't know, I feel like silly, but I'm like after it just was gaping so much that really just kind of like bummed me out truthfully. Uh oh. Tried not putting the pin in it this time to hold the elastic down. I'm like, uh oh. Maybe I can get it through without losing it. I don't know. Ah. Oh, we did it. Hot damn. Cool. Kind of pull that through. Okay. I mean, at least the elastic has been like easy you know like at least there's that aspect okay all right and then we'll sew sew them down at like I don't know half an inch maybe And then pull those guys out a lot so I have room. I feel like the worst thing is just like not having room while you're sewing. At least for me, I think that's like the biggest thing. If I feel like I'm like jam crammed while I'm sewing, it just ain't a good time. Okay. And then go ahead and I guess 
just maybe <laughs> try to match those up, right? Okay. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Oh, I probably should have grabbed my thread scissors, huh? Okay. And then we can trim these threads and then I'll just close her up and then the sleeve is done. We don't even have to like worry about it. We are still good. You know what I mean? Oh, that pin is still in it. Maybe I should have taken that out. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and just sew her down. like around my little arm thing here. I don't know if I got like sewn down all the way. It's probably fine. Realistically, it's probably fine. Okay. And then boop, trimming away all this stuff. Okay, and we're like pretty much one sleeve down. And then just one more to go. And then the whole top is done. And then I will, I guess I could just try it on and see how I like it, you know what I mean? See what's up. I am a little bit curious though to see how the outside turned out. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little, just a little gathered sleeve. Nothing special. Cool. Okay, I guess the other sleeve then. Pull him out a little more so we can see what we're sewing. <laughs> okay. Boop. And then go ahead and try to keep it straight. even though I got really disappointed really fast <laughs> with this top I always get so like excited and like kind of giddy like ooh the project is almost done I'm so excited you know okay and then hello okay wait what? I feel like that is just like not wanting to go around the elastic. Why? Must have gotten like caught kind of. What the heck? I don't know. But I think we'll do the same thing. Trying to get as much fabric And I guess if I get the elastic, it's not like the end of the world, I guess. I'd prefer not to. Okay. I think that's good. And we'll trim this little guy. And then. Oh, okay, not all the way 
trimmed. It's so ratty on the inside. I really probably should have like finished the edges. Should really get better, better about remembering to like finish it. I think the inside, like the inside looking nice is just as important as the outside looking nice. But sometimes it's like hard for me to like care when it's just for me, you know? Okay. She is complete. I'm going, okay, let's, I guess, move over. We're moving over. insane try to try it on um because i'm wearing a sports bra which i feel like just is not the top <laughs> for this um or the bra for this top so i'm gonna go grab i'm gonna go like change into the shirt i will be right back i think if anyone is lurking and did not try the top I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Um, let me go try her on and I'll be back. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I should move the mic so you guys can like hear what I'm even saying. Um, definitely like not at all, like not at all what I expected for a shirt. Um, it still is like gaping a little bit, which bums me out. I just don't really know like what happened there or how to like fix it. I do have like a pattern fitting um, like book. So I'll have to check and see what it says. I feel like, so the sleeves aren't as short as I thought they were gonna be. I am glad I like made them a little bit looser. Um, I do like the fullness that's like on the outside of the sleeve for sure. Um, 
I mean, I'm not, I don't, I mean, here's the deal. I think she's cute. I don't think maybe, I don't think maybe the gaping is like as big of a deal as I thought it was. Cause like when I look in the mirror, it like doesn't look how it feels like looking down at it for sure. I mean, it's like, it's cute. I just wish, just wish it wasn't gaping at all. I don't know, maybe I'm being like too critical. <laughs> I definitely need to like maybe press the edge of these a little bit make them a little flatter so they're not so poofy but I don't know you guys think you like it do you think it's cute I don't know how I feel about it I don't own any like pink really I don't usually wear pink either so like maybe that's like something that's like throwing me off a little bit True Rise, hello! Yo, that looks great, thank you. <laughs> I was really sad about it. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't think it's as bad. I think, thank you, I do like that how it's tied. I got, it like, did a weird thing. It's still doing it a little bit, but like right here was like gaping. Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't know. It's like weird because the patterns that I've been making for the tie tops, it's like, like somebody with like a waist this big, but like tits that are the size of fucking Ethiopia. And I'm like, people just aren't shaped like that naturally. <laughs> and so it was like gaping like a lot. So I don't know if it was like maybe the fabric I used, but I did a little bit of like twisty up magic. So I think, I think I like it. It's like cute. This would have been such a good... I mean, it will be a good summer shirt. Summer will happen again. I'm just being dramatic. Um, but yeah, I think I could even do it just like in a knot. It's kind of like long, but whatever. It makes me feel like um, like ballet warm up tops or something. But I'm pretty, pretty like okay. I'm pretty not as mad at it as I thought I was gonna be. Then I have my little elastic right there. P pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, okay. Well, maybe. Maybe this is just the top I wear today then. Take it for a test drive. You know? Oh, I did the bow the wrong way. Hello? Wait, what? I did it upside down again. What the heck? How did I have that correct the first time? Nope, I gotta go this way. There we go. I think maybe I'll take the shirt, the top. I guess it's not really like a shirt, it's a blouse. Um, for a test drive today, see how I like it. I don't know if it's just like a different top than I usually wear. It turned out like wildly different, I think, than I expected. I do like the sleeves. I'm glad that um, everybody said I should put more volume in it. I do like the soft kind of structure the fabric has. I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I'm just being fucking dramatic, which is probably true. I feel like it got really dark again. Um, here, let's just, there we go. Now you can see me. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. I am maybe not so mad at it. You know what I mean? I 
not so mad at it. I think I don't, I don't know. I don't know what project I want to do next. Um, also I'm kind of getting hungry. I know I was gonna go for like probably another like 30 minutes. Claw, I like the sleeves. Thank you. I'm okay. I think I'm maybe like not like the more I'm looking at it, I'm not like as mad at it as I was. Like I do like the sleeves. I think they're nice. Um, I think that maybe if you just saw me on the street, you wouldn't be like, wow, what a fucked up top she's wearing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I would look at this and think like the hem got like messed up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Food is number one priority. Yeah. Cause I was like going to stream longer, but I'm like really hungry. Um, I ran out of coffee, so I don't have anything suppressing my appetite, and I've been awake for almost seven hours now, so. Holy shit. The day went by fast, dude. Okay. Also, I have some errands I have to run. <sniffs> Whatever. Um, but tomorrow I'll be streaming again. Same time, same place. Uh, but tomorrow... I think we're gonna play some video games. I don't know what I'm gonna play. We'll just find out how I feel when I wake up. But tomorrow and Sunday, video games, nice and chill until I figure out what project I wanna do next. I'm thinking maybe pirate shirt, maybe. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Um, but I think I'm going to go get some food and I was going to say, get my day started. Like my day has been started, but you know, like go do my adult things that I need to do, which is stupid, but okay. I feel like I'm excited that like, what was this? Three streams, three streams and she was done, you know? Which, like, realistically, like, 12 hours of sewing is a little bit, like, dramatic. I guess, like, there's not really anything happening on the back. It's just plain. Um, you know what I mean? But I'm also talking and hanging out at the same time. So not too bad. But, yeah. Anyways, tomorrow, same time, same place. 9 a.m. Central Time gonna be playing some games hopefully I see you guys there it'll be Saturday so maybe you guys will have some time to hang out for a bit but I'm gonna go eat some food I hope you guys all have a lovely rest of your day and thank you for hanging out and sticking with me even though I was low-key like this close to just being like I'm over making this stupid top because it did turn out like pretty cute like I'm pretty impressed You know what I mean? <laughs> Claude. Thanks, Demi. Well, thank you for coming to hang out. Um, I hope you have a good day. And yeah, I'm going to go get some food. <laughs> right, man. But yeah, thank you guys a um, hundred billion times, I guess. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.